Hello everybody, welcome back to some more Planet Coaster working on Seatopia once again. Make sure you guys are leaving a like, leaving a comment, leaving something, letting me know if you are enjoying Planet Coaster. I want to continue to see more in the future. Went ahead and fly on the roof over in the caverns down there. And I picked the name for the whole area because I didn't want to name the whole area. And people made a joke last time because I jokingly said that I always name things after my dog. And you know what? We're going to do it here too. So this is hereby known as Cormac Caverns. We'll be adding a sign later. But decided to put a little mountain on top. And we're going to dress up the outside a little bit. Before moving on to the next section of this episode. Which is a Christmas or holiday themed area of the park. I'm sure you guys are very excited for that. Uh, we technically don't have the snow brush in this right now. Because that uh, the snow textures for the ground are limited to the new Arctic map. Uh, but we have a little, little way to work around that. You'll see soon. Uh, hopefully it comes out looking all right. <laughs> uh, making the entrance nice and spiffy into Cormac Caverns, added some torches and lights, things like that. Trying to find a good sign as well. Uh, originally with this one, and I was like, this sign's kind of tiny and kind of dumb looking, so we're going to change that up into this bad boy. This big old sign, big old hunk of junk. So we're just doing some sweet rocks and stuff on the outside, and some torches, and then we're going to continue that in this area, as well as with some of uh, the palm trees and stuff, just to kind of mimic the interior of Cormac Caverns a little bit. Nothing too crazy there. I did do some stuff off camera to the inside. I raised the roof a little bit, added some more uh, colored lights on the tracks of the coaster. I meant to record that, but I wasn't recording while I was doing that, so whoops. My bad. Oh well. Over here, I wanted to kind of wall in these sections. I decided just to go with a regular fence piece, just kind of squeeze it all in there. Just uh, make it a little bit separate from the other pieces. Uh, for the section we work on today, it's a little bit further away. Like, we're, there's empty spaces in between, so we're definitely going to fill in those spaces uh, right now. I just wanted to get this place laid out. We don't finish today because it is a very large section. Uh, and it's highly detailed, so we're going to need a couple episodes to finish it. Uh, probably three episodes in total for this section. I mean, it is the holiday, Christmas, winter, slash Christmas themed area, so it's definitely going to need a lot of work. And I want to put a lot of detail into it, especially since that's what we're, uh, the season we're currently in. So that's the basic idea right here, is to make this big white section. Uh, it's not super necessary right now, uh, because we end up covering a lot with snow. Uh, but we'll see how it goes. It looks alright, we're just using the white panel walls. And I'm definitely not going to fill up this entire area, because it is a very large space. I uh, was just over here working on a way to try and blend this in. Trying to use some of these snow pieces. This is just testing right now, because this... This may not even be the final section, or the final area for this section of the park. The nice thing about this is, the entire thing is going to be on a grid. It's like playing a Roller Coaster Tycoon 1 or something, because this whole section is on a grid, so I can just build this entire section of the park on a grid. It's pretty cool. I like it. Uh, we're going to do a nice little Christmas square, or Christmas circle, over here. With a big old tree, and some old-timey looking buildings with snow and stuff. I uh, wasn't really doing anything specific, I just googled some pictures of like Santa's village and found some cool like artist renderings. And decided, hey, those look pretty nice, we'll try and build those here. Uh, there aren't artist renderings because there aren't cameras allowed in the North Pole, everyone knows that. So that's why there's no actual pictures of Santa's village. Winky to wink. I uh, wanted a big tree in the middle, that's the big tree, and I was like, you know what? That's not very big, that's not big enough. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna make our own big tree. Planet Coaster's like, here's your big tree, and I'm like, nope. That's a little a bitty tree. Now that's a big tree right there. We'll put a whole bunch of them together. Bam. Big old tree. I love it. And then I wanted to make a little snowman family over here. Or snow person family. So I don't want to insult any snow women that may be listening. So we put a little family. So <laughs> or it's just two regular snowmen. And then a couple of midget snow people. There you go. Don't want, don't want to anger all the social justice warriors. Like, hey, that you, how dare you assume the gender of that snow person. <laughs> I'll assume whatever gender I want of a snow person. Anyway, added some presents under the tree, because why not? You know, that's where presents go. Under the tree. We didn't get a tree this year. Actually, I guess I've never gotten a tree. <laughs> the only tree, because every Christmas before this one, I've spent at my parents' house. And they've always had a tree, so. Uh, not going to be there this year, unfortunately. So, well, that's kind of sad. <laughs> I'm just not realizing that, guys. I'm having a little bit of an existential crisis. The past 24 Christmases I spent at the same house, but not this one. Huh, that's a little depressing. Oh, we'll get it, we'll get a tree next year. We'll do that. How about that? Uh, adding some benches and stuff all around there, making a nice little square with some poles. 
Trying to make it all nice and pretty looking. And then decided to work on our first building over here. Uh, again, just kind of winging it. These buildings kind of end up looking kind of, not, not, I don't want to say Victorian or Georgian or something like that, but I don't know, kind of like the classic romanticization of the holiday, Christmas, things like that. Uh, again, just found some artist renderings of Santa's Village using the uh, different grid size there to get that overhang. It works pretty well. It's, the game gets a little confused when you try and jump from grid size to grid size. So that's a little irritating, but overall I think this building comes out pretty nice looking. Hopefully you guys agree. I had a lot of fun playing with the snow too. It's fun. Much more fun than real life snow. The snow outside my window right now. Stupid snow. It's actually supposed to snow today I think, or it's supposed to be like freezing rain. That's something I've never experienced in my life. Let's see, today... Uh, it's 24 degrees. Oh, we'll go up to 26 today, nice. Oh, it's not seeing snow today. That's a shame. Tomorrow's gonna be a high of 13, a low of negative 3. Wow, okay, so it increased. Previously, the high for Sunday was gonna be like 3 degrees. It was gonna make the coldest day I've ever been in, but... Uh, it increased a bit. Cool. Sounds like a plan. I'm happy. I'll, I'll take that. I'm not gonna complain about warmer temperatures. I just feel bad for my dog, though. He's getting a little bored. Just because we used to go to the park every day. Oh, in between like recordings and renderings and stuff. I'll just take him there and we throw the stick around. That's a good way to burn off his energy, but now... Uh, it's just too cold. <laughs> We're both desert dogs. We're a bunch of wusses. So I'll... T I play with him indoors, like we play fetch and... Or not really fetch, I mean I live in a small apartment. We play tug of war and stuff, but... It's not the same. He's gonna get out of shape this this winter. We're back to the spring, we're gonna go back to the dog park. All the other dogs are gonna smoke him, he's gonna feel like a fool. He's gonna be all slow and fat. He's a little chunky monkey. <laughs> no, he'll be fine. Maybe. Hopefully. Possibly. Meh. We'll see. Uh, keep working on the building seat top. I'm just gonna keep ranting about snow and Cormac. I do need to do Cormac versus snow, so we'll go down the park at some point. I don't want to build a snowman. I've never- I haven't built a snowman probably since I was like in elementary school and we'd, we'd come to like Wisconsin to visit family. It's been quite a while. So I want to do that. Oh, it'd be fun. I'm gonna, I'm gonna do that. I'll probably take a picture of or something. Show it to you guys. That'd be cool. Adding some wreaths to the top there. Very nice looking. I like all the wreaths and lights they added in this. It's pretty nice looking. I uh, originally had those up there. Did not like them. Remove those bricks he top. He does eventually. Or I do eventually. <laughs> I'm me. That's right. I uh, wanted to add this sort of outside staircase. I uh, decided to put it on the other side. Very nice looking. Where are the stairs? Right there. There you go. Added some wooden rails. But you know, it's kind of like a little side entrance, a fire escape or something. I thought it was pretty nice looking. It's got inspired by something I saw on an image. One of the ones I was looking at. And these lifts out here just to hold some Christmas lights as we put them up there. Some sparkly lights. They're really cool. So you can either make them constant or you can make them like flickering. Uh, we end up putting some of the flickering ones on other buildings. I just think it's cool. It just makes the even though they don't give out a lot of light like we've discovered when we did the uh, holiday or uh, winter update video, they still look pretty sweet. Oh, I, I like Christmas lights. I wanted to get more this year, but I kind of fell behind. But definitely next year, I'm gonna go all out on Christmas lights, man. If I'm living in the same place, I don't know. We might move. We might not. If they hike up our rent, we probably will. But I currently like my place. It's kind of nice, nice location. Uh, we are paying less in rent than everyone else in the building, so. If he raises it by more than like 200 bucks a month, then we'll probably look at moving, but if not, I think we're rather content here. And we both hate moving. Because last time I moved, we moved 1,700 miles. If we moved again, it'd probably be like a mile, so... That's a little bit better than 1,700 miles. It's very, very far away. It's like halfway... Actually, it's more than halfway across the country, because we had to go up and we had to go north as well. Eh, don't want to do that again for a while. Or at least by myself. I'll, maybe we'll hire movers or something. <laughs> I decided to add some shops to these buildings to make them somewhat useful so people will actually visit them. So we put a... a Missy Donuts. It's a donut shop and then... What's the other one? Street Fox Coffee. That's right. So we got a coffee place and a donut place right next to each other. I thought that was rather fitting. I'm trying to figure out some bushes and stuff on a put here. The, I mean, the dead bushes make sense, I guess, because it's supposed to be snow, but... I like the, I did the look of the green bushes. Uh, we end up taking them out and we replace them with snow covered boulders. It kind of looked like, in my mind you can pretend that they're bushes covered in snow. So that's the idea we had there. We'll, we'll do that eventually. Put the signs up there for now. Ended up taking them down because I don't like them. I think they're a bit silly. Uh, they're just a little like, too gaudy and big so I, I didn't really end up liking them. 
I uh, wanted to put some snow up on here to kind of make it look like it got caught on the windowsills or something. It protrudes a little bit too much, but you know, I don't hate it. I think it's decent. It'll work for now. Working on a second building over here. Oh, I like the look of these buildings. They're they're pretty fun looking. I, I enjoyed making them. We haven't made any cool buildings like this in the game in this uh, map yet. Oh, we kind of have. I mean, these are kind of a mix because they are using the classic brick, brick which was uh, the main like Seatopia theme color. So I guess it looks kind of good, in, like it fits in the park. But that doesn't really matter because we're making different themes of the area. So who knows? Maybe this will inspire me to work on other Seatopia themed sections of the park. Who knows? Hope you guys enjoyed the song. I wanted an actual like Christmassy song to put in this, not something not just royalty free. So I went and bought another song. Hope you guys uh, appreciate my toils. I could just put like crappy royalty free music in all these videos, but I want to, you know, go do something special since it, since uh, you guys do enjoy the videos so much. I have been using the Planet Christmas theme song, but I wanted something Christmassy, so we got this one. I found it on Audio Jungle. Some people have asked me where I've been getting my songs, and that's where I've been getting them. AudioJungle.com very, very, very useful subscription service. Well, it's not my subscription, you just buy the songs. And they have some decent ones on there. I got, I got a couple couple of them from there. I even bought my main intro song, the the swing song at the beginning. Got that from there as well. I really like the look of this building. We added a cool little clock tower. Even zoomed up there and showed you guys that the clock actually moves. It cool. It's cool. It moves in real time with the game. So it's, it's paused right now. That's why it's not t ticking away right now. But it does. It's very fancy. Uh, the snow on the roofs don't look great. I mean, they're kind of bunching up. It should it'd be nicer if they're like completely flat, but I think the effect is still decent. I mean, as good as we can get in the game without actually painting like the roofs white. I and mean, we could have done that, but it wouldn't really have looked like snow because it would have been like the roof texture. Oh well. Looking alright. Now it's stowed kind of the ground area around here. Uh, we'll probably end up filling in the rest of the areas with snow as well, just using these big snow blocks. Just because I think they look better than the white roof panels that we put down, then it begs to question why did we bother putting the white roof panels down? If we're just going to cover them all in snow? Well, because I was not aware that that was originally the plan. It kind of got away from me. So I do apologize for that. Uh, why am I apologizing to you? Man, I'm the one that has to live with it. You guys, you guys just gotta watch. You should be apologizing to me. <laughs> I don't know why, but you should. We're going to have third building over here to kind of complete this little uh, Christmas square. Make it a little bit of an unusual building. Uh, this one with those corner pieces, it makes putting the snow on the roof a little bit tricky. You'll see later we uh, come to that conclusion. And we have to do a little bit something. Instead of just completely covering them, we decided to put just like some snow areas on it. Kind of like the snow has settled after a while. So it's a little different than the other roofs, but it's not bad. I think it's all right looking. Going to add a little chimney to the top. And mixing it up using that pipe. Making our own chimney. And put in the smoke in it, all nice and pretty. I feel like this might be a little bit too far away. The good thing about this is, if I change my mind and say that this is in the wrong spot or too far away, I can pick up this whole thing and just move it. I don't have to move building my building because it's all on a grid. It's awesome. <laughs> so I can even upload the entire thing to Steam Workshop and people can have this whole thing in their park. Wouldn't that be something? Over here trying to figure out about the snow on the roof. Scattering yeah, around. It looks a little weird with the, the creases in between, but meh. I'll get over it. Well, we actually ended up removing this one completely because these parts couldn't really get to look good. So I was trying like putting it on an angle like that. Uh, yeah. Wasn't loving it. And I did discover that they added uh, snow uh, effects. So, like shoot snow in the air. So we'll definitely add some in this section of the park. Probably some down in the Christmas square. And we just have like snow shooting out of the buildings over the crowds. I thought that'd be pretty, pretty cool. And the snow around the rims and the top, so we're gonna do like three layers, kind of like uh, some of the snow melted or this all, all the snow kind of slumped off the roof and settled into these stripes. I, I think that snow does that sometimes. I'm super not, not super experienced with snow. I'm a desert dog. <laughs> I don't know why I call myself that. Cormac's the desert dog. Oh, we both can be. Adding these up here because I thought it'd be cool to add some lips and then have some snow kind of caught on them, kind of like a window sills or something. Or just like, I don't know, general flat part of the building that the snow would got on. I thought that'd be fun. Good, clean fun for the whole family. Something like that. I originally wasn't going to put anything in this building, any shops or anything, but I said, you know, we probably should. Just so uh, it's useful. Not just, not just sitting there. So I think we end up putting a smoothie place in this. 
I think that's what we ended up doing. Something like that. So there you go. Those are the rocks that we wanted to kind of look like bushes. It's kind of effective. They could be rocks. They could be bushes. Who's to say? I'm to say, but whatever. I think this area is looking awesome, man. Uh, I gotta add some more crystal slides. I accidentally placed the big old... Whatchamajigger? Big old sci-fi piece right there. Did not mean to do that. Look how sparkly they are. Remember, this is 600% speed, so... They're not gonna be that crazy and, like... <laughs> Epilep ep uh, epilepsy inducing speed in real life. Epile uh, whatever. That sentence got away from me. It happens from time to time. It happens more often than from time to time. I'm sure you guys have noticed. And my allergies is really acting up today. I don't know why. It's really bugging me. My sinuses are all messed up. But we'll push forward because I owe you guys a Planet Coaster video. But there we go. That is going to be it for this episode of Planet Coaster, guys. I'll see you next time. Bye.